In this video, I want to introduce you to what we mean by a digraph or a directed graph. So, a digraph or directed graph is one where there is some direction of flow through your graph or through a network. Okay, so let's say we quickly draw one, something like this. And I'm going to add on some edges, like so. Okay, and currently this is just a graph. A digraph shows you a direction of travel. So, for example, maybe we can only go along that route. Okay, so, sorry, from left to right along that route. So that could represent a one-way street, for example, um, or it could represent a direction of flow of a pipe, so water flowing through a pipe, for example, um, or it could represent um, a fire exit route. For so we could have a fire exit route where you can either go this way or this way. Uh, you've got to go along that way. You've got to go along that way and that way. And uh, you can go that way, that way, and that way. OK? And so a digraph doesn't have to have all of them labelled with arrows. But um, when we get onto things like network flows, then um, and critical path analysis for that matter, we will have arrows on all of them, okay, all of the edges as we work our way through. So the terminology that goes with this is when you've got this starting node here, where you have any. Um, edges that are coming out of it are pointing away, so they are only kind of exiting from that node. We refer to this as a source. Okay, so this is a source, and the node that they all uh, flow into at the end, this is referred to as a sink. So we're flowing from the source through the graph to the sink. And so we will see this appear in critical path analysis, as I said, and in network flows.